I think Joe Rowling recognises that everybody in a certain degree is fallible and the thing for anybody is to try and lead a good life. And ultimately, Slughorn is this man with a terrible secret. He gave the young Voldemort some information which has allowed Voldemort to gain such a purchase on power. And Slughorn is partly responsible for that by giving him this piece of information. And I think Slughorn is basically saying, look, I was fallible. My vanity and my pride and my fear meant ultimately that I was foolish enough to give this information. That notion that we have choices throughout our lives to lead a good life or to, to take the wrong turn, I think is a constant in, in the books and is a constant in, in these films. Jim Broadbent was the newest addition to our acting troupe, and he is the perfect slughorn. What you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, is a curious little confection. I've worked with David before, and have uh, good communication, and we had a few conversations about different types of uh, teachers and, and, and the character and his uh, vulnerabilities and his strengths and all, all those sort of character things, which is, David's very good at homing in on the essentials of a character and giving you an area in which you can build a character. 453, take one. I think Slughorn as a character is someone who people nowadays will be able to see a lot of the world around him because he's obsessed by celebrity and he's obsessed with the idea of, of sort of reflected glory and all his former students who have gone on to great things. He has pictures of them on his wall. And the other ones who didn't do anything particularly spectacular, he discards, you know, he doesn't care about them. So he's totally mercenary like that, but at the same time, there's something quite charming about him because he's, he's very vulnerable. You know, he's not like the first time he was at Hogwarts when he was kind of in his prime. Yeah, Potter, to life. <laughs> when I first read the book and then the script, even though Jim isn't physically, as Joe describes Slughorn, he knows that character inside out. And I knew his capacity for both comedy and for pathos would absolutely bring so much to the table for Slughorn. I carried on down, I turned around to see my chap, but he was still at the top of the hill. <laughs> and he comes up with such witty, interesting, odd, crazy things sometimes. And Jim can take a fairly benign line and he can elevate it into something that is purely comic, which I really love. The three broomsticks and I go way back further than I care to admit. I remember that it was called the one broomstick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>